Well, we've had a great start to the 2019 school year at Bluestone, but there's a couple of challenges that I'd like to give everyone at Bluestone. The first is to try new things, to take the opportunities that are going to be available to you this year, and to get involved. The second challenge I have for you is to be positive towards other people. Use only nice words and treat others just like you'd like to be treated yourself. And make a real effort to look after anyone that's looking sad or alone. Let's have a great year at Bluestone in 2019. Sports, rugby, yep, real sports person. Um, love the outdoors, love, love getting out on the farm and going for hikes and um, taking the boat out and going fishing out at Um uh, Love art, love to do some art and some drawing and yeah. Um, and I live on Craigmore Station with my partner Will on, on the farm with lots of. Um, got to the farm dogs, which are, yeah, I love as well. <laughs> um, how have you liked the blue stone so far? Blue stone has been awesome. So cool here. Um, some really great teachers, really supportive staff. Um, the kids are, yeah, really cool, really good to talk to. A child the other day came up, came up to me and asked me how my day was, which you don't actually, um, you don't really get too often, like you ask how they are, but them asking you how you are is an actually a really cool um, thing, to, thing to say, so that was really cool. Um, and yeah, my class has been really good, doing some really amazing positive stuff, and yeah, it's been really good, yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, last question, can you tell us your favourite joke? Okay, so the joke, I got a child to tell me a joke and because I didn't have any money myself. So this joke is, why can't you play cards in the jungle? Why? Um, because there are too many teachers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm seeing people leaving the interview. That's alright, it was lovely you interviewing me as well. Bye! Bye. Kia ora, we are here with Mrs Jackson and we are welcoming her back to Bluestone Store. I just want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you choose to become a teacher? Because I wanted to help kids. I wanted to help everyone have the chance to learn to read and write and be the best people that they can be. Um, I had a couple of other questions. Why did you come back to Wilson? I've just been on maternity leave, so I had a little girl called Scarlett, and she's now a year old, so I've come back to carry on helping the kids at Bluestone to learn. Oh, that's pretty cool. And the last question is, what, did you, what do you like about being a teacher? Love the smiling faces in the morning. I love seeing kids succeed, and I love when kids have a light bulb moment and go, oh, got it. <laughs> Thank you for letting us listen to you. Thanks for coming.
My superhero would be Supergirl. I would have the power to help homeless people. I find timetables challenging at school. I love cats and dogs because I've got two two cats and one dog at home. My top three goals this year um, keep using descriptive words, don't use full stops all the time, remember not to use hands, what, what support might I need, have pictures on the wall. I feel happy when I'm surrounded with friends. I like having fun at school that I like to do. I was born in Dunedin. I was born on the 22nd of August 2009. My full name is Paige Ann Darren Kirby. I can make the world better by having really hot days. I love, I have three names in my name. I wonder if I could do 20 laps around the field. I aim to listen carefully on the mat. I love running strawberries, raspberries. And I feel sad when I am lonely. These are some of the things that we can freely give to make Room 18 a great place to be part of. I am kind and caring to others. I am honest and kind. I am a good leader. I can help other people draw. I work well with others by listening and being respectful. I can help people with their spelling and grammar. I am a great listener. I can help people when they are sad. I can help others by waiting my turn. I can help others with sport. Kia ora Bluestone School. We are currently outside the Year 7 8 pod, about to give you an update on what is going on. We just want to remind you to not go inside the construction site, and if any of your belongings or equipment goes inside, politely ask a builder or a teacher to get it for you. Hey guys, me and Carter are outside the construction site, and Carter's going to give you a little update about what is going on. So basically, they have a lot of planks that they are using to build the structure around the outside so that they can start building on the inside. Because if they just started from the inside, it wouldn't end up the best. Oh, and by the way, their main priority was lunch. Look how you get the Look how you Hello everyone and welcome to Bluestone News. Today we are talking about the Treaty of Waitangi. Since yesterday was Waitangi Day, we'll be talking about Waitangi involved things. The British man James Cook first came to New Zealand and later on more British men arrived looking for lands. The British took land from the Māori. It means they fought for land. The British who wanted more and the Māori who wanted it back. They both had advantages. The Māori who had the high ground and trenches but the British had guns. But after all the commotion and fighting they finally came to an agreement to form a treaty. There were two different types of the treaty, the Māori version and the British version. They were translated differently, which caused fighting because the Māori didn't know what was actually going on. They came to an agreement again after more and more, like, commotion and fighting. I sneeze so much. Yeah, it's just, why? Just leave New Zealand alone, British. So, but there is still more Protest. commotions and protests Protest. going on today. Uh, Waitangi Day is mostly a protest day or a holiday, some people call it. Yes. Well, you're not wrong. Yeah, we're not wrong. But it all got sorted, like, but there's still commotions. Mm. Just taking this information, watches. Taking this information, yes. Yeah. 
Well, this has been Blue Star News. Goodbye. Goodbye.